It's time for spelling analysis. And today we will use our new phonogram, er. All right, in the last lesson we learned a different way to spell er, and we'll be talking about how to remember or how to know which er to use. What I want you to know today is if you hear er in one of the spelling rules or spelling words, it is this spelling. Got it? Okay, before we begin, since we are in foundation C, I want to review just a couple phonograms. What does this say? E-F-A. How about this one? Ow-O. How about this? How about this? A. Where may I use this? This is two letter A that I may not use at the end of English words. These are all phonograms that we learned in Foundations B. All right, our first word is hurt. When I slammed my finger with a hammer, it really hurt, hurt. Go ahead and say hurt. Let's sound it out. Er, t. That's right, that's our new er, the one that we just learned. Do you remember how to spell it? Go ahead and write hurt. Now help me to write it. Er, t. How will we mark it? We'll underline the er. Let's sound it out. Er, t, hurt. The next word is rainbow. I see a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Rainbow. Go ahead and say rainbow. How many syllables in rainbow? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell rainbow. What will we say to spell? Rainbow. The first syllable is rain. Er, a, two letter a that you may not use at the end of English words. N. Second syllable is bow. B, o. Use an ow, o. Go ahead and write rainbow. I love how you're sounding it out. I can hear you. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is rain. Er, a, n. The second syllable is bow. B, o. How will we mark it? We'll underline the a and we'll underline the o. And what sound of ow, o do you hear in rainbow? That's right, it's the second sound, o. Let's read it, er, a, n, b, o, rainbow. The next word is airplane. I saw an airplane fly overhead. Airplane, go ahead and say airplane. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two, we will say to spell airplane. What will we say to spell? Airplane. Let's sound it out. A, two letter A that you may not use at the end of English words. Er, plane. P, u, a, n, silent final E. Go ahead and write airplane. Sound it out as you write it. Now, help me to write it. The first syllable is air. A, er. The second syllable is plain. P, U, A, N, silent final E. All right, how will we mark airplane? We'll draw a line under the A and we'll put a line over this A. Why? Because it's saying it's long sound. Why is it saying it's long sound? The vowel says it's long sound because of the E. Let's read it. A, R, P, U, A, N, airplane. Which two words do you see in rain and bow? Oh, I just told you the answer. You're right. This is made out of two words, rain and bow. Do you see two words in the word airplane? You're right, air and plane. It's a plane that flies in the air. The next word is near. We are getting near the end, near. Go ahead and say near. Let's sound it out, N E. This is an E at A, er. Go ahead and write near. Very good, now help me to write it. N, E, er. How will we mark it? We'll underline the E. And what sound of E at A is that? It's the first sound. 
N -e -er, near. The next word is while. It'll be a while. While. Go ahead and say while. Let's sound it out. What? Do you see it's a two letter wuh? I, U, silent final E. Very good. Go ahead and write while. All right. Now help me to write it. I, O, silent final E. All right, how will we mark it? We'll put a line under the W. We'll put a line over the I. Why? It's saying it's long sound, so this line tells us that that's the long sound of I, I, E, Y. So it's the long sound. Put double underline the silent E. Why do we have a silent final E in while? That's right, the vowel says it's long sound because of the E. What would it say if we took it off? Will. All right, but with it, it says while. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.